What's up, guys? Dave Mate, Circle of Drink. Just want to share some uh, quick information on Mate and osteoporosis. Get your thermos, get your Mate, get your Sherba, get your Bombisha. Salud. Drinking some Amanda. Now, as we've discussed earlier and in, in previous videos, the study of mate, the pharmacology of it, uh, is still relatively new, especially here in the United States. Maybe for the past seven years or so, we've been uh, focusing on finding out what mate is, the, the compounds, the chemicals, antioxidants, uh, and we're still studying, still early stages. So as those things unfold, that information, I'm going to start to present videos about the health benefits of mate to kind of keep a, a journal of what's going on in the health world uh, with mate. Today I just want to talk about osteoporosis for a second. Osteoporosis, as you already know, is a, it's an ailment of the bones. The bones become brittle, uh, they become diminished. And this is usually uh, from a, a, a lack of tissue in the bone as a result of perhaps a vitamin de deficiency, vitamin D, or calcium, minerals, what have you. This usually occurs with women, uh, postmenopausal women in their 50s and 60s, it starts to happen. Uh, of course, it could happen to men too. Mostly in women, though, we find it happening. Uh, Recently, in the Bone Journal, January 2012 issue, it was published that mate, uh, chronic use of mate, could actually help uh, prevent osteoporosis. There was a study done in the, in the University of Cuyo, C-U-Y-O, Cuyo, in Mendoza, Argentina. And this study tracked 146 women who drunk at least one liter of mate a day. One liter a day, at least. And they compared this with another group of women, another 146 women who didn't drink any mate at all. And the results were pretty uh, astonishing. They were pretty uh, remarkable, really. They found through a bone mineral density test, which is they're taking an x-ray to see how dense your bones are, they found that the women who uh, drunk at least one liter a day had a 10% uh, higher uh, BMD density of their bone in their lower back, in their lumbar region, the lower region of the back where it begins to curve. They also found that women who drunk at least one liter of mate a day had a 6% higher BMD, bone mineral density, in their, uh, in their hip, in their joints, right here below, you can't see it, but essentially the joint, the hip area, where the, where, the, where the joint connects to the leg, there's a little slice of a bone in the upper regions where, for women, it becomes very brittle. Uh, this is because the angle of the bone is on a wider degree than men. Also because women need to have babies, so their hips are naturally wider than men, and as women begin to uh, uh, enter their postmenopausal stage, osteoporosis perhaps sets in, and that particular ephemeral neck, which has nothing to do with your spine really, uh, becomes susceptible to osteoporosis. So, that was found to be 6% higher density than non-mate drinkers, and again to recapitulate, uh, they found a 10% increase in, in uh, density in the lumbar or lower region of the back for the people who drank mate. So that was a study recently published in 2012. So of course, please consult with your medical practitioner before you do anything, but the science is out there. We can see that mate, a, a correlative effect of people who drink mate and people who don't drink mate. I mean, of course, the studies still need to be done, but based upon this study, which I'm going to put a link below this video to so you can read it for yourself, based upon this study, it shows that chronic use or habitual use of daily drinking of sherba mate, at least one liter a day, can help, uh, if not totally, at least partially uh, offset the chances of you getting osteoporosis. This is Dave Mate from circleofdrink.com. Thanks for watching. Salud.